Hello everybody, hope you're good. Hope you had a nice little drink there and you went for part two. This time we're getting these legs involved, all right? So just bring your knees up, and just get them warm. Do a little bit more over the fence, over the gate, open up these hips, loosen them up. Okay, a little bit of a ballistic stretch there. Lift these legs up, get them up if you can. Nice and loose. Loosen these hamstrings up. Circle the hips. And again, the other way. And a couple of little squats. Just gonna get the blood through these legs, guys. All right. Really, our first round then, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the same guard as we did last time, but we're gonna do a karate block. This is called Gedan Barai. Downward block. We're gonna keep our hands up though. Once we've blocked it, we're gonna pick this front leg up. Just gonna snap it out, pull the toes back. Get out the eye, my girl. That's Japanese. The downward block and front We're gonna start in 10 seconds. The second part of the round, we're gonna go change legs. We're gonna lean back and the side kick. Lean back and side kick, okay? But first of all, we've got that get out the eye and that my girl. Get set, guys. Down up, ready? Downward block, snap that kick up. Downward block, snap that kick up. Come on. Downward block, snap the kick up. Breathe out on your shots. Block it, counter it. Bam, bam, come on. Strong out of the bottom, flip at the top. Look at this. We're strong and we're straight up. We're strong and we're straight up. Stay with me, come on. We're strong and we're straight up. Block it, counter it. Loosen up, change legs. Second half of the round, we're gonna lean back. We're gonna throw our right leg. Lean back, side kick, back down. Lean back, this leg's gotta come up. Push it out and back down, ready? Lean back away from that attack. Counter, lean, kick, lean, kick. Stay with me, lean, kick. Really get these hips in, get more power. Ready, lean back, kick, lean back, kick. We're nearly there, lean back, kick. Stay with me, lean back, kick. Nearly there, three, two, time for one more. Woo, all right. How are we all doing? We're good? Yeah? Perfect. So, our next round, what we're going to do, hit that exactly the same again. Make it short, keep this guard up, we're ready to go. Downward block, front kick. Downward block, front kick, come on. Downward block, front kick, strong. With that block, fast with the counter. Strong, fast with the counter, come on guys. Strong, fast with that counter, come on, stay tight. There, there, straight up. Strong and counter, you're nearly done. Strong and counter, nice and powerful with that block. And keep it up, two more. Bang. There you go, bang. Lean it back now, lean back. And lean them over that side kick, come on. Lean back, pow, come on. Lean back, pow, get that leg right up into the teeth. Lean back, pow, we're good. Come on, lean back, pow, get your knee up. Pow, stay with me, lean back. Pow, 10 more seconds. Come on, guys. Lean back. Pow. Lean back. Pow. Looking good. Lean back. Pow. One more. Lean back. Woo! It's a little bit hard when you get the legs involved, right? Tell me about it. It's worse than getting hit back as well at the same time. Our next round. Hands up here. We're doing a little bit of tie boxing now. Rotate the shoulders, rotate the body. We're going to do some elbows. Hands on your head. Rotate. Rotate. Nice. Twist that body. Twist that body. If you're doing it right, you're going to feel it in these obliques here. Bam, rotate. Bam, rotate. Bam, we need to keep these hands up nice and high. Make sure we've got them there to block if we get hit. Come on. Turn it and power it in. 10 more seconds. Then we've got some knee skips. These are brilliant. You like these. Bam, really going to up the ante now. Get some speed up. Take hold. Ready? Knee. Change legs. Knee. Pull that head down. Knee on them toes, come on. Push it in. Pow, point the toes back. Push the hips in. Pow, keep all the red. Pow, this is called the clinch. Pow, keep it going. Push the hips in. Pow, Pow last 10 seconds, double it up. One, two, change legs. Three, four, come on. One, two, three, four. One time. Do you all feel strong? Yeah? You all feel good for a Friday? I hope so. You're doing so well, keep it up with me. We're going again. Remember the first round, core nice and tight. Hands up, rotate these shoulders, rotate midsection, and get those elbows in. 
twist it, twist it, bang. Look at my body, my hips are controlling all the way through, I'm working my core, making sure the hands are staying up. Bang. Come on, bang. keep it going. Drop those elbows in. If you're training with a partner, make sure you stay in your own little area. These elbows don't hurt if you get them. Come on, brothers and sisters training together. Husbands and wives training together. Just be nice. That's enough for that. Here we go. Knee skipping. I want the whole round double knees now, okay? Double it up. Change the legs. Come on. Push the hips in. Change the legs. Come on. Keep those arms up. Come on. Here we go, guys. Pow. Pow. Five seconds. Pow. Pow. Come on. Pow. Pow. One more. Pow. Pow. Hey. Woo. Hey. All with me. Fantastic. Last round then. Deep breath into your nose and out through your mouth. We're going to make it fun now. A little bit of karate kicking. We've got some axe kicks and some bicycle front kicks. Knee needs to come up and chop down. We're starting the timer now. Up and chop down the middle. Up and chop down. Doesn't matter how flexible you are. If you just do your knees for now, that's fine. Do your best. That's all I ever ask from my clients. If you're doing your best, I'm happy. We'll just make your best better, won't we? Good. 10 seconds. Chop these kicks down. We're looking good. Three, two, one. Right, guys, you're going to love this one. Bicycle front kicks. We're here. I'm going to show pulling back. Pow. I'm going to show pulling back. Come on. I'm going to show pulling back. Keep it going. Keep these hands up. 20 seconds left. Keep bouncing. Come on. Making distance now on these kicks. More people flying through the living rooms. Watch out for coffee tables. Come on, nice and loose. Move it back. Ready? Keep it one more in. Yeah. Everyone feel that? Brilliant. Guys, go one more round. One more round, that's it. Friday done. Fight Fit Friday. Coming at you through your screen. Ready? Big breath in through your nose. Out through your mouth. Axe kicking. Chop. Chop. Come on. Chop again. Keep it going. Up and down. Up and down. Near there. Put it down, last 10 seconds. Bicycle front, I'm changing legs this time. Ready? We're here. Shuffle in back. Come on, knee up. Shuffle back. Attack wherever you want. Attack the head if you want. Or go body. Push that leg in though, whatever you do. Make sure you're doing your best. Push that leg in. Shuffle back, hands up. Come on. Shuffle back. Come on, team, keep it going. We're nearly there. Move it back. And that is time. Get a breath in there, guys. Have a drink. Just want to say thank you to each and every one of you for turning up. Today we have combined COVID. We've kicked coronavirus. We've done our bit for the NHS for tuning in and training with me. Back to Paris in the studio, guys. Have a fantastic Friday. I'll see you later. Thanks, Joel. If you're old enough to remember the Karate Kid, I spent many play time doing that move. Joel, you've been an absolute star, as has Alex Ligui, our two residents, and a big thank you to all our PTs that gave their time to help us put the show together. We had Christian, Lish, Caroline Pierce, Leon Lee Machines, Katie Padham, Nicole Goodwin, Dana Lever, Matt Cottle, Matt Gleed, Alana Baker, and Mark Laws. We're very lucky to have you, all these guys help us out. I remember the first day with Christian, that was a tough one. And I sincerely hope you've enjoyed and learned from all these awesome workouts. You can watch them all again on our YouTube channel, Best Fits Media. We've also been giving you some golden nuggets of advice from our experts. And we're gonna go over to Alice Law now to chat about the lift on lockdown, as some of us may have gotten a little bit comfortable with this new way of living. So how do we prepare for change? Here's Alice Law to give us some tips. 
Yeah, I think it's, it's such a good point, like you say, but um, people, you know, who have been working from home now might not want to go back into the office and they've got so used to that and various things that have changed. But I think one thing to really remember is that humans adapt to change quicker than any, you know, anyone. It's um, even at this time, if you think how quickly we've all adapted to the current situation, it's going to be the same for, you know, the other way around. It's just... We get these sort of barriers in our heads so i think it's really important to write a list for example of all the things you're grateful for about going say back into the office or back into normal life and try and put a positive spin in your brain for it to so sort of to mentally prepare for that change again yeah great idea i love a list anyway so yeah get a list down of the positives that are waiting for us rather than focus on the um, negatives mm. exactly <laughs> brilliant stuff alice thanks a lot see you thank you bye Thank you so much to all our experts who have given their time and knowledge. Alice, Lee Purvis, Chris Sharman and Ben Coomer, of course. My top expert tips from the series would be, number one, prepare and plan. That could be scheduling from work, home, planning for the food shop, homeschooling. Without preparation and planning, we can get a bit lost. Number two, move more. Get up from the workstation, lunge to the fridge, go up and down the stairs extra times, Make sure to go outside for your daily exercise. It burns those extra calories and releases those essential endorphins. Number three, dump your thoughts, get your worries or your job list, whatever's on your mind, down onto paper. It's always better managed when written down. Number four, communicate more. FaceTime and Zoom are great, but don't neglect the good old phone call. There's no pressure to be on screen and it can be a lot simpler just to have a chat on the phone. Gratitude is number five. Gratitude for the NHS and key workers is great, but don't forget to be grateful for what's around us too and the things that get us through this. It's been an absolute pleasure. We're back on your screen soon. Keep in touch. Bye.